So basically, I've become a PR in six months. No Why? joke. Really? Why are you so lucky? Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's Denise. So nice to see you guys again. If this is your first time to my channel, then welcome to my channel! I'm here to share with you my life in Australia. Well guys, this is another great day. It's such a good weather today! Nice, sunny and warm. So good make me super happy well but today we are not going anywhere because we have to stay at home we are going to talk about immigration by immigrate to Australia I invite one of my friends and he's going to share with me his personal experience about how he successfully immigrated to Australia so if you are interested in that keep watching it So it's my friend here! Hi, I'm Jun. <laughs> oh, you can call me how, whatever. Yeah, you know why he wear the sunglasses? Because we are sitting in the balcony. We want some fresh air. <laughs> Stay at home too long. Alright, anyway. So, he is going to share about his experience about about, what, about the, how you get to a permanent residence in Australia. Oh, that was a long, long, long story. Yeah, but it's alright. Like, you can question me, I don't know what to say. Yeah, I will ask you him a couple of questions and... Yeah, let's get started. So how, um, how long have you been in Australia? Coming nine years, I guess. Nine years. So, the first day I landed here was 8th of August 2012, I think so. Um, what makes you come to Australia? Mm, run away, I guess. I'm still young that time. So Wait, how old were you when you come here? 19, I guess. 19. 19. And you come here alone? By myself, yes. So when the first time you came here, what was your visa? What visa did you apply? I can't really remember, but I think it will be the tourist when I started here. And then after that, I will apply for my student when I'm on shore. Then whatever, after it takes. I think that's it. So, you didn't plan to immigrate to Australia until when? So the first time you came here, you just... All right. Two races, right? Basically, my story is like I was thinking, uh, alright, I'm done with Singapore. I'm from Malaysia, by the way. So, I've been working in Singapore for after I graduated um, high school. So, about two, three months, I guess. Worked for three months. And it's just ridiculous. I'm busy, have no time, no time for myself, the end of the world. Just run away, I guess. And I'm not sure why I came to Perth, but I think it's because of my auntie and only the things that she asked me. Um, how? Do you want to come to Australia to study? I was like, well, since working is so hard, so I just ran away. I just came here to study. So that time, just buy, the, buy my flight ticket the next day after I tell my auntie. Like, literally, I quit my job on the same day, buy the flight ticket on the next day, and I'll read here. Wow, you're so crazy. Life is life, what you can do. Yeah, that's true. Life is life. Just do whatever you wanna do. Understand? My apology for this crazy girl. Well, what did What did you study? I enrolled into what we call it IT in information technology and networking. So I basically take up my cert for all the way up to diploma. And then after that, you just apply for a job. I think I'm quite lucky that time. You know why? I found a job during my study uh -huh. and I just worked with them straight away and I got my internship and everything with the company. So after you get to your job and then did you when you got your job did you plan to get permanent residence or you didn't think about that? Um in the 
beginning, I was just thinking, alright, I'm here, I'm just concentrating on my study, I didn't think anything in future, and, uh, whatever, like what's coming next and things like that. As a 19 years old boy, as I said, you just do whatever your mom's told you, you do whatever your family told you, and think. Alright, basically, mommy boy. Mommy boy. Boy, side. The question why I decided I want to get my PR. It is what it is already. I don't want to go back to Singapore because I work in Singapore. I don't want to work um, in the life that I have to travel, I have to wake up at 4 o'clock or 3 o'clock in the morning just to travel to Singapore, buy a mo little motorbike, and get stuck in the custom for freaking one hour, I think. At least one hour in the customs with all the um, carbon dioxide around me before I can get through the customs and go to work in the morning at 6. But how do you know how to get the PR here? I think it's because of uh, I have an auntie here as well. My auntie just got her common resident residency um, when before I came, like 2 3 months ago. That was back in 2012. And so everything was planned by my auntie as well at one point. So I'll just follow whatever she tell me to do. But as soon as I graduate, so that's a problem that came. I have to do my own research. What's the process? What are the things? But I'm quite lucky because my 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 employer have a good friends uh, that work in a uh, migration um, agent. I can't I can't remember what name he said. But he been advising me and give me all the tips that what I need to do, what document I need to do, and what I need to prepare for my employer side and for my side as well. Very, very like, important to find a good employer who is willing to give you working visa or giving you help. But in return, you're also working hard for him, so I think it's a win-win situation. So try your best to find a nice, awesome employer. What pizza? What pizza? <laughs> Help you to get the permanent resident. I'm quite lucky because I'm the large batch. Um, I'm the last batch of uh, 186 actually. So RSMS, which is uh, Regional Scheme Migration Visa, um, the cri criteria to get the visa, I'm not really sure anymore. But you know what? Government website is the best. Yeah, just go just in and check it or just call up. After I put my application in for my 186, so my permanent residency uh, RSMS. And my visa was granted um, in six months' time. So basically, oh I become a PI in six months. No oh, joke. Really? Oh, you are so lucky. I am so jealous. That's why I say I'm, I'm, I'm quite lucky. I'm really grateful for whatever previous my employers helped me and things like that. Have you ever thought to quit? Like, doing these years? Have you ever thought, oh no, it's too hard. I don't want to do it anymore. That is a challenge. Financial is a challenge. So basically, one of my friends, if you see this, I'm really grateful, Linus. Thank you. Because this guy, he borrowed me whatever saving he's have to ask me to stay here. It's a guy that um, um, I'm just know him not long ago back then. Bam, cash. Go and apply for another um, another course. Prolong your visa time and get your. Like a sponsor. Wow, that's amazing. That's how I get to stay here. If not because of him, I don't have today as well. Wow, so frank. Wow, that's that is the wow. challenging part. So, money is a big issue. You have to work really hard and you have to try your best to get those money because forever you apply for a visa because obviously you're going to change a lot of visa. Every visa I start from like thousand dollars, thousand dollars. And sometimes when you get problem, you have like need an agent or lawyer to help you, and that's another. <laughs> so basically, yeah. some of the visa, my advice: do more reading, ask more people about it, or the people that migrate here before, ask them for um, advice. Have 
feel regret. Regret about what? Regret. <laughs> Immigrant to Australia, live here. Have you ever thought about, oh, I want to go back? I don't regret at all because I'm grateful that my mom actually asked me to come here. That's the thing. Because back just after I came here, um, life just changed. Like, I get what we call that, what we call that, um, be really independent. I used to be like mommy boy sitting at home. Like mom's cook everything, mom do everything and shit like that. But over here, you need to do everything by yourself. That's what makes you like today. You come here alone, you have to learn how to look after yourself properly. No one's going to help you really. I mean you still have friends but it's different. Your family is not here. Anymore you wanna give to those who is on their way to get a PR or who wanna get it or My last one is don't give up. Yeah, that's what I said. Like, just follow your heart, and if this is the thing you really wanna do it, and just uh, do it. As all my video, I always say just to do it because the best thing to achieve to your dreams is do it and never give up. It takes time and be patient. Do it. <laughs> today thank you for inviting me i'm all good man i, I hope this video can help you um, or for, um, and keep you motivated to chase your dream go after your dreams and if you want to get the pr just if you can get it uh, that's good if you can't i think life still have a lot of choices a lot of options so just uh, do your best and no regrets Alright, thank you for watching my video and everybody stay at home, stay safe, wash your hair frequently. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, love you. I love you all. Bye bye.